VMware vCloud Connector makes it easy to view, transfer, and synchronize virtual machines between your on-premises environment and vCloud hybrid service. Setting up vCloud Connector requires deploying a vCloud Connector server and node on-premises, and then connecting that node to the one in vCloud Hybrid Service. In this video, we'll learn how to set up and configure the vCloud Connector 2.5 server and node in the on-premises environment. After downloading the software from the VMware website, the first step is to deploy and set up the vCloud Connector server as a virtual machine in your local environment. This step starts with building the server virtual machine using the OVF template for vCloud Connector Server. From your VMware vSphere client, on the File menu, click Deploy OVF Template. Next, choose the VCC Server OVF Template. Review the details, and then accept the End User License Agreement. Now specify the server's name and where you want to store it. For this example, we'll name it VCC Server 25. Then, choose the host or cluster to deploy the server on and the resource pool and data store to use. You can also choose the disk format. For this example, we'll use thin provisioning. Now update the networking properties for your on-premises network by specifying a default gateway, DNS, IP address, and net mask. Finally, select the Power On After Deployment checkbox and click Finish. Your VCC server should power up automatically now. Check to see that the virtual machine successfully deployed. Click VCC Server 25 and then click the Console tab. You should be able to see the IP address when the server is done booting up. Access the VCC Server Administrative Console by going to the appropriate port, 5480, in your browser. Sign in using the default username, admin, and password, VMware. You can review the network settings and the information on the Nodes tab to get ready to register a node. Now it's time to set up and configure the vCloud Connector node, which will be the local node for your on-premises environment. To deploy the node, go back to the VMware vSphere client and import the OVF template for vCloud Connector node. Follow the same steps we just went through to deploy the server. You'll need to enter your network information for the default gateway, DNS, network IP address, and net mask. Again, to wrap up, select the Power On After Deployment checkbox and click Finish. After it finishes booting up, log into the VCC Node Administrative Console at the appropriate address. Now you need to register the vCloud Connector node to the local vSphere environment. On the Node tab, click Cloud and then choose vSphere for your cloud type if your local environment is running vSphere. For your cloud URL, enter the local vSphere client address. For this example, we'll ignore the certificate because we're not installing official certificates. Finally, update your configuration. Now go back to the vCloud Connector server and register the node. On the Nodes tab, click Register Node. Then, enter a name for the local host and type the address for your local node. Set a username and password, and then click Register. The last thing to do is register the server with the vSphere client. On the Server tab, click vSphere Client. Then, enter the local node host address for the vCloud Connector Server URL and the vCenter Server IP address. Enter your vCenter username and password, and overwrite the existing registration. Finally, click Register. You can now log back in to the vSphere client. Go to Home, and confirm that the vCloud Connector plugin is available under Solutions and Applications. And that's it! You now know how to set up and configure the vCloud Connector 2.5 server and node in an on-premises environment.